Hello everyone and welcome back to Rice Fix and in this video I will show you how to tie a rope for a Royal Enfield leg guard without taking the guard out. So come on let's start the video. So you will have to take one end of the rope. So as you can see here where the rope ends it looks something like this. So take this part of the rope and put it around the leg guard like this and take some extra as well because you will be wrapping the rope on top of this end. So hold the rope like this in one hand and with the other hand start wrapping the rope bundle. Wrap it two times. Once you are done wrapping it two times I will give you a slightly closer look here as you can see here two times i have taken the rope bundle around this guard because of that i can nicely wrap the rope around the guard now you will have to wrap the rope on top of that other end which is the extra end of the rope that end should go under this rope so that it will stay tight and not come out now once you are done wrapping the rope two three times you will have to start taking the rope bundle around the guard now don't take it too many times in one time take the rope around at least five times now here i have taken the rope bundle around the guard for five times and once I'm done taking it around for five times, now you will have to wrap the rope and tighten it properly. If there is a gap between the rope, then push the rope like this and take the gap out. Now while wrapping this rope, see that you pull it nicely and then wrap it and don't take it around without pulling it. So pull it nicely and don't let the gap come between the rope and keep wrapping. You can hold the entire rope like this and twist it to make it tight. Now you will need around 28 meters of rope. If you want to buy this rope online, then I will give a link of it in the description below. You can go there and check it out. One more important thing I want to tell you about this rope. When you tie your guard with rope, then there are chances that your guard will rust. I will warn you first only. If you wash your bike, then water will fall on this rope and it will stay wet for some time. If it stays wet for too long, then there are chances that your guard might rust. And if you are using the bike in the rains, then all the time this rope will stay wet and like this your guard can rust very fast. So see that you remember that. If you don't care about the rust, then go ahead and tie the rope. So let's move on. This is an important checkpoint when you are wrapping the rope. Here your other end of the rope ends. As you can see here, the other end has reached till here, but it is under the rope. Now see that you tighten the entire rope by twisting it like this. Now how you have wrapped the rope till here, keep doing that and see that you don't allow any gaps in between the rope. So here I will fast forward it and directly I will go to the next checkpoint and the next checkpoint is the midpoint of the guard. Now when you reach the midpoint, you will have to go on the other side. So go on wrapping your rope like this and once you are done wrapping it on one side, here I have reached the next checkpoint and when you reach here, you will have to come on the other side like this. But see that you don't leave the rope, you will have to keep it pulled otherwise it can get loose and by keeping it pulled you will have to now start wrapping the rope on this side take two rounds and start taking the rope bundle around the guard now now what you've been doing on the other side that only you will have to repeat on this side as well you will have to keep on wrapping the rope on the guard and see that you don't allow any gap in between the rope and see that you pull the rope when you are wrapping it when you keep on doing that you will reach the last checkpoint and this is where your tying ends here you will have to tie a knot to the rope properly when you reach here then you will have to take the rope around on this side of the guard on this part like this now keep the long end and cut the rope to the length which you can tie here you can see i have cut the rope little bit it will remain once you cut that see that you tie two knots here first then this rope will have three ends now these three hands you will have to separate first once you separate them see that you take them around the guard and tie them to each other and once you tie all of them to each other after taking them around the guard your ends will still remain the extra ends you can cut them off once you cut them off just adjust the rope and put the ends on the other side so here you are done wrapping the rope now to wrap this entire rope it took me one hour see that you comment below and let me know how much time it took you to wrap it now let's see how the bike looks like after tying the rope so as you can see here i'm done tying the rope so i'm hoping that this video was useful to you if this video was useful then like and share with your friends and family and if you have not yet subscribed to my channel then see that you subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you will not miss any of my future videos till then this is rice and 9 signing out until we meet again Oh, 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 oh,